สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับ Good morning How are you all doing Good morning คุณพิธา Good to be on your show Thank you so much for having me Yes Thank you for being here also Yeah Um, yeah, I, yes, yes, yes. First, I first have to congratulate you on your premiere. It's I understand it's your first show, and then I also have to apologize. I'm on the middle of a campaign trail. I'm on the road here in Chumpon, where the mm-hmm. internet is not so good. It's digital divide. <laughs> Here's <laughs> the first answer to the question when it comes to equal access to internet. So it's not so good, but happy to be here. Yeah, love to you have you here too, Kunina. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for for being here with us. So, well, let me ask you quickly because we have limited time. So, let's say from the past few years that we have seen so many differences in terms of uh, perspective and opinion, and it is no doubt that the Thai society is seen or may be seen as to be divided in so many pieces. So through your eyes, according to you, what would you perceive about that? What you perceive this disparity, inequality in the Thai society? Yes, um, I think in terms of disparities and inequalities, COVID is like steroids on mm. these issues <laughs> in the past two or three years. Um, let me be, give you some examples and me. Very concrete when it comes to this kind of things. Um, I'm here in c h u m p o n um, Two days ago, I was in Songkla, and you know the equal access to public health is probably one of the inequalities we don't want to see during the pandemic, do we? Mm-hmm. And uh, the, I look at the stats before I come here. Uh, in Bangkok, one doctor takes care of 500 patients. Um, here wow. in c h u m p o n one doctor takes care of 2,500 mm-hmm. patients. So wow. 500 versus 2,500. That's five times the amount of mm. risk that the Chumpon people had to go through the pandemic. When it comes to 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 a, 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 a life and death situa- situation here, and we're just you know six or seven hours apart from the capital city, mm. the figure for for Songkla is 1,000. Uh, 200, I think. So it's one doctor takes care of 1,200. So all around in Thailand, when it comes to a, a, a direct security, when it comes to our lives and and our progress in society, uh, that number is is a root cause uh, when it comes to uh, a chance to recovery after uh, we get over this COVID thing, for example. So and and, and obviously in terms of technology. Uh, yesterday, I met with some new entrepreneurs, uh, young mm. younger generation who had lo- lost hope in our education system. They found new hope in e-commerce mm-hmm. in the middle in quite a far oh. away uh, area mm. in Songkra. And when it comes to digital divide, like how we are experiencing right now, I'm not sure if I'm in the middle of delay, which I would not have it if I'm in Bangkok talking to you. Mm. Um, Uh, they're finding it very difficult when it comes to opportunity, when it comes to advantage, when it comes to infrastructure equality, mm. that they can uh, prosper in this kind of uh, COVID situation when you're not allowed to open your business, the tourism is, is not coming in. So the digital bandwidth, it's almost mm. like when they're closing down the the physical roads, they need a digital road so that they can continue mm. their own lives. And that's an issue. So education, environmental health, um, all these things are are the things that are main concerns when it comes to equality. At the issue of this new year in 2022, you know, in the beginning, two or three years ago, you probably talk about inequality when it comes to symptoms, inequality mm-hmm. of income. That's one thing, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's, yeah. that's right. Really, at the very symptom of it, there's inequality when it comes to wealth. And assets mm-hmm. accumulation—that's another step further. There's inequal inequality when it comes to access to services and resources like education, like public health. Mm-hmm. And there's the the very root cause of all the inequalities that I had mentioned. That's the mm-hmm. the inequality mm-hmm. um, political access. It's very hard for someone to be able to be a member of parliament. 
if you don't come from the right family, if you don't have the right accumulation of wealth, if you don't find uh, a, a suitable amount of income that allows you to pursue your political career, it's pretty hard for you to get into the parliament and make laws and be the voice of the people of the voiceless, be the hope of the hopeless. Um, mm -hmm. These are the kind of things that, that becomes a systematic a systematic uh, amount of inequality that when it staggers up, it becomes a factor that makes our society more di divided and more mm -hmm. polar polarized. If mm -hmm. you see the election in the past two years, you see, mm -hmm. um, if you if we talk about political spectrums at the mm -hmm. very, very bare minimum, you see people who used to vote for the center left and center right mm -hmm. starting to move out to a new political parties, more mm -hmm. of a far right and far left. And I started to see that in, in the campaigns coming out since this year is a year of election. Mm -hmm. I see. So from this point, I understand that it takes a lot of time, but um, according to you, do you think how long will Thailand arrive <coughs> to the point of where everyone can, can get this <coughs> access? How long? Not long. <laughs> As Martin Luther King's quote, uh, I don't want to um, take his quote without telling the audience that it comes from him. Um, I think in every election is an opportunity to create a more equal society. Mm. And if you ask me um, whether it's inequality or you know, whether it's equality or equity that we're looking for, I think, of course, both. You know, equality is is given a, a same amount of resources and opportunities regardless of the outcome. So mm -hmm. think about all the subsidies that are being given out. It means a lot to a lot of people when it, you give them some gas subsidies. It might mean nothing when you give that same amount of gas to a more wealthy people. You know, mm -hmm. that's more of an equality side. Equity is when you focus on the outcome. You want mm -hmm. an equal outcome so that you look at marginalized groups and you give mm -hmm. uneven resources so that you make the outcome. Equality is more of a process. Equity is more of the outcome. Uh, for us, to answer your question, it's more like justice. Mm. Um, equality is important. Equity is important. But, you know, removing all the barriers so that people have a fair, chart, a fair shot in, in life, uh, that's something that we are trying to push as a party. Um, for example, next month we have a liquor liberalization so that we people have the right uh, equal right the same the kind of uh, economic justice to pursue uh, their business in the liquor business rather than just the top two or top three families that are uh, mm. occupying the market i feel like that gives them both the equality and the equity and their own capability removing the barriers of their cap capability to uh to uh, prosper in their own uh, rights and, and in the inherent rights. Um, if these kind of things are expedited in the parliament, it's not going to be long before, mm. you know, we can have a country that is flourishing because the entire mm. entire of the country are mobilized rather than the top 1% that are, are surviving, not just only surviving, but, but flourishing uh, uh, pretty well and leaving mm -hmm. the 99% of the entire country behind, you know, gender equality, indigenous rights, indig indigenous equality. Uh, these mm -hmm. are the things that a leader of a country needs to understand that you cannot compete in the 21st century, focusing mm -hmm. on a top one or top 10%, you know, top 10 companies in the SAT stock exchange, right. stock listed exchange of Thailand, for example, it's not going to be able to drag the entire country up. You, or just, you know, the old men in the parliament, you know, within the lawyer profession without any diversity <laughs> in our parliament, it's not going to take Thailand forward. You got to have, you know, the, the men, the women, the LGBTQ, you got to have the Thais and the Hmong and the Mian and the Bakakayo, mm. you know, bursting out, bursting out their potential. And mm. if you understand these, these kind of, that diversity means business, you give mm -hmm. a fair shot to, to all people, regardless of their race, regardless of their gender, regardless of their economic hardship, right. regardless right. of right. their of their mm -hmm. zip code, for example. We, we, we are living in a very important transition of 
Thailand. It's like we are <laughs> the world of changes a lot. But I think many people still don't understand the implications of being diverse or diversity. Actually, Thailand is diverse society. We have so many <laughs> different cultures. We have different languages. We have a lot of stuff that. But sometimes we think that we we have, you know, we cannot manage this. So you think how how can we make people understand this? Mm. You know, the strength of my party is the diversity of my MP. The weakness <laughs> of my party is the diversity of my MP. You, a leader has wow. to understand yeah. that the diversity mm -hmm. has its mm -hmm. pros and cons. And if you just focus on the pros and not mm -hmm. mitigating the, the cons, mm -hmm. you leave diversity at the door. Or if so you now just focus, you, you, if you are you a dictatorship, if you are a dictator, and you focus just on the cons of diversity and you know it inefficiency is so many so many meetings and so many opinions and we cannot get things done i'm, I'm gonna do it my way you without you, you, are, you are saying it. that you know the right formula to handle diversities like for example your I know the party right formula, as a, a model I know the right balance but it changes it changes all the time you know because of the external environment because of our internal mm -hmm. thinking you got to be constantly trying to manage or trying to lead a group of a diverse uh, background because you make I kind of understand that the best decision uh, made from diverse groups and if you know that and you understand that there's a cost to it <laughs> there's yeah, yeah. Uh, a disadvantage that comes from it there's inefficiency when it comes to democracy democratizing a meeting you know you understand that you know especially I understand you, that. you three are journalists so you know what i mean right with we, three journalists that, but... with different uh generations too so i like Compe i like to ask you this uh, question competing against how, time you know the, yeah how how do you how do you handle the conservative to understand diversity you think sometimes we discuss that okay let's wait for them to die <laughs> we get the yeah. younger generation to to take over stuff or, or you need to give them education or take them to somewhere to to let them see the challenges in life that this is the world is changing this is a new mm -hmm. century now mm -hmm. what do you think about the this? way the way i see it instead of educating them i let them educate me you know i <laughs> listen to the older the older mps yeah. i listen to the older mps uh -huh. i'm the leader i'm 41 year old maybe i have to lead a 75 year old mp right uh, in the parliament for example so instead of telling them what to do, I asked them a question instead, you know, and I, I mm -hmm. developed uh, options. Uh, you know, these are this is the issue that we're facing. And mm -hmm. the way as I see it, I see two or three options. I want to hear your opinion on these three opinions. Mm -hmm. um, and for some reason, I have a way to make them think that the decision that was made is from them and rather from me. And that's, that's a see. kind of uh, inclusive uh negotiation inclusive dialogue that that you need to have when you when when it comes to generations mm -hmm. and you got to be clear it's not just to the older generation the younger mps you know when it's our uh 22 23 24 25 um, more of a, a mid-life mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. uh caliber mm -hmm. at 41 year old so i understand both that comes before me and those that comes after me then we, you need to find a dialogue and the kind asking the right kind of questions mm -hmm. without giving mm -hmm. the answers away too quickly, uh, without talking oh, about what you think inside the quickly. That's a kind of uh, leadership skill in, in the 21st century too. Right. Uh, this is, this, to, to what they this have is to a say. must. This is a must. We, 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 we encounter this in family within too. A, within a small group, right? Within a small mm -hmm. group. But oh. in, in, at a larger context, I know the time is running out, so I want to put this point across. In terms of a larger amount in the city, in the country, nothing works mm -hmm. better than, than voting. I think uh, mm -hmm. voting is a chance, it's an opportunity, opportunity to create an right. inclusive change. Mm -hmm. You can shape tomorrow by voting today. And you have to understand that bad politicians are elected by good citizens who, who don't show up. So, you know, this month alone, we have three uh, districts here in Songkra. Uh, uh -huh. District 6, Shumpon District 1, and then Bangkok District 9. It's an opportunity to create tomorrow. So hopefully people um, don't, you know, it's all, it's your right and also it's your power. It's uh -huh. the most nonviolent form to mm -hmm. speak your speak up your voice. And, and no one's going to speak to you if you don't vote. You know, you mm -hmm. got to, if you uh -huh. want to achieve justice you know land justice environmental justice education mm -hmm. justice you got to get out and vote
Yeah. That's marvelous. So that's the way. We, that's the way forward. We love, forward to, for we love to talk with you more, <laughs> Kunina. We have a lot of stuff to ask because it's short, brief. Yeah. But I think we got a lot to learn, and I, I mean, learn a lot. So thanks, Kunpita, for today, Kunina. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much for having me. I wish you all good luck. Thank thanks you. Thanks a lot. So. Have a great Thank day. You. Okay. Right. you too. Bye.